What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the review of South Africa versus Argentina that took place yesterday in Durban and what a weekend of rugby we retreated to. An awesome game between the Aussies and the All Blacks where the All Blacks just came out victorious showing complete dominance and then we came to yesterday's game where it was a little bit different. I must say I'm very happy. Bonus point win for the Springboks very good and important for us but there's a lot to work on obviously as you've known if you've been watching for a while i'm not a big fan of alton yankees but man alive did andre pollard have a shocker of a game last night it was just poor kicking from his part he didn't have a bad game as of as a, as a player but his place kicking was abysmal it was shocking um a lot to improve from him from that side and uh, he's going to need to really uh, pick up pull up his socks for the game in Argentina this coming weekend as we all know when you play Argentina you get passion you get heart and soul whether they're in a good place or bad place they just go at you they are dominant their forward packs are strong they they really want to win and um, you could clearly see an improved side from the Argentines last night. It's not easy playing South Africa in South Africa and I think they showed a very valiant strong performance. They had opportunities too which unfortunately for them they couldn't capitalize on but there was a lot of improvement to talk about. The tries they scored were impressive. They won the tack. I mean that one try where the guy ran straight under the post, posts was embarrassing from a South African point of view because the defense was appalling. The players that should have been in position weren't there and that guy went straight through under the middle of the sticks. Now that cannot happen. Um, from a defense wise we weren't that strong. Our attacking was a lot better for, for South African sake. We really showed a lot of improvement. We weren't kicking as much rubbish like what we've, what we've done in the past which I was honestly impressed with. I was happy to see that. Um, we obviously had our moments. Vili Leroux looked a bit under pressure on the high ball and Argentina clearly took control of that but um, it was a, it was an interesting game. Um, first half for me was a bit boring. Obviously the sides were close. Very similar to the All Blacks Australian game and similar layouts. You know, Argentina were like Australia, the Springboks were like the All Blacks. It was close scoring game and like my mates were saying, this is, this is bad, this is bad. And I said, well, the All Blacks game, it was 7-5 or, um, or something like that. So it, it, it showed the, 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 the intensity and closeness between but I, I thought the Springboks would come back like they did um, and show dominance in the second half, which I was quite impressed with um, and it was good to see. It could have gone either way. We could have really like lost it and um, showed weakness, um, but we, we seem to help keep held our own on the field um, yesterday, which was important because we've seen the South African team crumble again. Yes, you may say, but you played Argentina, so is it a real challenge and all that stuff? At the end of the day, guys, Argentina is still a damn good team, and we forget that they are rebuilding their their squad, and they're going to have moments of 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 spark where they just go in and attack and improve and shut their critics wrong too. They also want to. Um, make a point that they are here to play there's been a lot of talk of argentina must go off rugby championship and blah 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 but at the end of the day they are there and they're here to play comparative rugby and we've seen them do it in the championship where they come up close they have beaten south africa before um they've given the all blacks a good run for their money um, at times so they're a team that we can't throw away and forget about because just like that one error silly error like when the south africans defense was not in place they will run right through and score a try right under the post and that one try could be the decider to say whoa springboks what happened where are you now on a positive note with the springboks i was impressed with even Etzebeth. that man was a machine he played strong he played a full game which was fantastic considering the guy had just come back from a long injury i was really worried about him i thought we could see another injury or a bit of weakness and he didn't really show weakness he he, he showed strength commitment um which was fantastic to see and to have a figure like that um is is 
immensely important for the, the Springboks. So I think going forward, I'm, I'm very confident to see him back in that squad. Him and Peter Steff seem to work well together. Yeah, the lineouts, we, we lost a few and they were quite a shocking moment. But I think those are the errors that we need to work on. We were dominant, but there's so much room for improvement. And I think, in fact, I know Russi is the coach who will work on those errors and go forward. Some other players to look out for that I was impressed with. I was very impressed with M. I was very impressed with Deanti. I thought that man, his wing ability, his speed, his quickness, his in and outs were brilliant. I thought he was a sport f to give Mampimpi the try. Um, this He said uh, he thought it was a better opportunity when he really could have scored the try and got an hat-trick. And that alone shows the humbleness from that man. He could have I mean, he had a hat-trick on the road. He could have gone. But as a sport, he thought, you know what, let's give it to Mampimpi to go over the try and, um, and score it, which I thought was really great sportsmanship. And that's what we want to see within teams like this, is sportsmanship, teamwork, commitment, passion, and love for the game. And that is one thing I saw in that Springbok squad. It was truly incredible and immense from that side. Um... Last year, that Springbok team did not gel. They didn't have the same camaraderie as they have now, which for me is fantastic and it's exciting, especially going forward as we get to the bigger games. We're playing Argentina next week in Argentina. Then you've got Australia and New Zealand in their uh, respective countries, which is hard. So big big ups to DIT for standing up and big up to the box for really keeping cool and capitalizing where they needed to capitalize. Some other Sparks Beast I was very impressed with. I thought he had a good game. A lot of talk is he's getting old and all that stuff. Personally, what I feel should happen is Beastie should go to the bench. Stephen Kitsov should start. We did this process when Bismarck Duplessis came into the squad. John Smith started getting benched, and he, it, it gave time to get the new blood within the team. For me, Beast is important to have because of experience. He's been around for a long time. He's got over 100 test caps to his name. He's played the big boys like the All Blacks in Australia and all those other great nations. So for me, as a leader, it's important to have him in the team to guide these young props, to, to, to show them the ins and outs, to, to move them forward. So that's how I would take it if I was the coach. Beast on the bench, start off, kept off and go forward because that man is a machine he's a ginger ninja on fire um, a lot of people say he's a great impact player keep him to that I do agree I think he's fantastic but I want to see him building up we've got the World Cup in one year and um, I think we need to start seeing these guys start being cemented cement their positions in place for the World Cup but overall I'm, I'm very impressed with this game. Argentina scored three tries, got their three conversions, um, which was impressive. They had their moments of spark. Um, Sanchez looked good and all those other brilliant players. Their captain was immense. Um, and they were, they were hard. They weren't, they weren't like away from the game. You, you constantly were worried, what are the Argentines going to do next? How are they going to come back from their from their Titans or are they going to come in second half and really attack which they did do I mean three tries was great at one stage you know sitting back uh, you're confident that we're going to win or that South Africa is going to win but then they could have taken away that bonus point opportunity which South Africa cannot afford to lose if they want any contention at winning this this tournament or getting a um, second place so for me the fact that the the Springboks got the bonus point was important um, and uh, we held Argentina out for that. Now going on to next week's game, a lot needs to be proved. I don't know what Russ is going to do with regards to fullback. Um, Willems, I didn't think he had a bad game for debut. I think he's, he's got a lot of growing and learning to do, but I think it was a very smart move from Russi to bring him in. I sadly do see Alton Yankees coming back into the things. Um, there were memes going around and, of a photo of Yankees saying, and you all thought I was bad. Look at last night's game. I think Pollard's average was 20%, which was really, really poor. We could have easily gotten 50 points um, against Argentina, but 
it wasn't meant to be um, and so we grow out of this we scored six tries only two of those were converted which is shocking penalty attempts one kick over which is shocking it needs to improve and those and I said it in the Australia New Zealand video you've got to capitalize on your kicks kicks will win you games if you miss a kick a guy like Bowden Barrett Bernard Foley or the other kickers that those two countries have will kick it over and beat you now has Pollard should he be dropped no I think give him another go let him continue he is a great player he's a great leader he's a great um, player of the game who just has the experience to go all the way so to drop him what's that going to do for confidence yes he had a appalling game but the guy's got immense talent and he's got the ability to really take the Springboks to another level and as a player and a kicker I'm more confident in him than I am with Alton Yankees Remember, Yankees has had many bad games. This is really Pollard's first shocker. So for me, keep him going and let's see what happens. I want better discipline next week. South Africa need to work on their discipline. Their defense needs to shake up a bit. We had our moments of strength where Marks, Malcolm Marks, just took the cake once again. That man is just a machine who, who dominates, steals the ball. He really was immense and brilliant at everything he does. We South Africa have a good thing, but I want to see better defense. I want to see the attack continue. I want to see running rugby. Run, 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 pass, go. Quick movements like Fuff de Clack. He kept the ball going. He kept it. He got the ball and he passed it. We were running. We were moving. And that's what you need. If you want to beat the teams like the All Blacks, you've got to keep with the same intensity and level as these other players. So for me, yes, we we won. Yes, we would. But there's a big room for improvement. And I think if we can work on those mistakes that um, happened over the past weekend, we can definitely go in there and, and, and give the bigger teams like the All Blacks in Australia a run for their money. As for now, I am nervous to play those guys. We're going to play them first in there in Australia and New Zealand. So I'm very, very wary about that. But I'm confident that this team has the ability to move forward. I was happy with the selection process. Maybe a few changes here and there coming into next game. But I would like to see a similar team go forward. Because I just think they have the ability. As for Argentina, I would keep things going the way they're going. We're playing in Argentina next weekend. It's going to be tough. It's going to be harder. Um, they're going to come out wanting to win. They sniffed. They had a little sniff of what victory tasted like. So I just think we're going to see that going into uh, the next game. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for both teams. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed so you can keep up to date with all future uploads predictions for both games this coming week so make sure you subscribe for that and um, i'll see you guys real soon for another video have a great week um, and i'll see you guys soon stay safe never give up cheers